Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on Python coding uh, for factorials. Now, as usual, this is for beginners. If you're vast in programming, then this is not for you. Okay. Unless, of course, you want to improve what I've done here. That's fine. But I'm going to improve what I've done. Now, previously, I've introduced the keyword end when I did uh, Python coding for triangular numbers. Now, I've got a new keyword here, SEP. Okay? Right. Now, uh, it's, it's asking me here to input the number of, factorials I, number of factorials I require, and I've put in five. So I'm looking for the first five factorials there. Okay? Now, to start with, and um, I've got fact is equal to one. So that's my starting point there. So I've thought in my little box, I've started one there. And then it says, for i in range 1 to n plus 1. Now, n is 5. So it's the range we require will be uh, this one here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, as usual, we do not use the last number there, or the last digit that is not used. So in effect, i has got to take values of one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? So now what happens here is that we multiply our i with the one there. So one times one is one, hence the first factorial is one there. Okay? We then move on, and two times one is two. So we've got two there. So meanwhile, in here, we store the number two there. Okay, so that's gone. Right. And then, uh, sorry, um, so that's two there. So next we do three times two, we give us six. So, and that's the next, that's the next factorial number six there. So this two, we now just, uh, this two, we now be replaced by six. So in there, we've got, in here, we've got six now. Now, meanwhile, I is four, four times six is 24, which we got there. So we now store, we store 24 there, okay? And lastly, 5 times 24 is 120, so 5 factorial is 120, okay? So that's version 1. Well, by the way, uh, as a matter of interest, this end keyword here ensures that our, our output is all, our output is all in one line. If that weren't there, if, if that's removed, you're going to have one factorial in one line, two factorial in second line, and then third line, and then fourth line, and then fifth line. So you're going to have five lines there. So with, with having n there, we have the output all in one line. That's what it does there. Okay. Now, for version 2, now if you look closely, version 2, versions 2 and 3 are just to tidy up. If you look closely, that We've got a gap there, a gap there, and a gap there. And that gap, 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 gap. So to remove the gaps, I've introduced the SEP keyword there. Okay? So that will get rid of the gaps. So if you compare the output, uh, if you compare the output here to the output in version 1, the output in version 2 is so much neater. Okay? Right. Then, now for version 3. Now, if you have a look in here and there, we've got a comma at the end. So we want to get rid of the comma. And to do that, we now introduce this if statement there. If n is equal to i, we know n is 5, so when i assumes the, the, the number 5, this, there's a gap there, compare this here, and that there. You can see there's a comma after the word fact, so that doesn't exist. So as long as i is between 1 and 4, this the, the gap is there, I'm going to have a comma. Now as soon as i is 5, then 
we print the last number 120 without the comma layer okay now i do hope uh, all that made some sense and uh, please please subscribe and watch some of my other videos thank you for watching and bye bye now bye bye